All right, guys, I'm back. It's been a little bit longer than I expected, and I'm not apologizing, just letting you know. Anyways, Tarkov can be a somewhat punishing pastime. Playing for hours on end, you can lose millions in a night and not even bat an eye. Bro. So if that's you and you can't seem to make those precious rubles that give you the comfort that you crave, follow me. I'm going to teach you how to make monies. I already posted a video about night raids and how they can make you money, but did you know that killing other players can make you even more money? Yes, who who wouldn't know that? Well, it can. Nighttime factory raids bolster an impressively short 25-minute timer, meaning that all players have no time to sit around, which is why we are going to spend our time sitting around. Specifically, we're sitting right here under the stairs of this catwalk in a spot that I like to call Potter's Room from that movie Harry Potter. Have you heard of it? Hiding under these metal steps camouflages you from the stupid players in these raids and being so high up means that no scavs dare shoot you. This spot is money. More importantly than the spot, you need the right loadout to ensure your safety. MP7, suppressor, foregrip, N15s with swordens, and a scout sniper rig. Nothing more and nothing less. Trust me, this loadout holds some special power in Factory. Don't trust me? Look at my stash. Ugh, sorry, I've just been distracted by how much money I'm making doing this. Look at my ruble count. Look at these kills. Yeah. And hey, stop talking real quick. So I... Oh, he's got a flashlight. No, get those lights off. Off. He turned his light off, by the way. Body's there. There's a body. Do I kill him? I'm just gonna push him. No, he's behind the box, stay boy. How sure of you? I mean, I see a figure. No, okay. I killed the guy. That guy died. All right, here we go. We're back in the game. Mm -mm, peek it more than that, buddy. I don't know if he was the only guy, and personally, I don't care. Going as fast as my little legs will take me. Oh, oh. that's a good sign. I know why he's on Tomer right now. Oh, right see now. him. Where? I might not have seen him. It's below us. <laughs> what are they jumping? What are they jumping for? Sky bridge. Yeah, you want me to look? He might see you. Never mind, we're good, we're good. Don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't okay. shoot him. Okay, 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 okay. Is he coming this way? Okay, he saw me, I had to drop him. Alright, that's fine. Ugh. What kind of gun did that sound like? Big one. Alright, just come to me, I'm gonna extract. <laughs> Unless you want to stay and fight those guys. No. If you want to leave, I'm going to leave. I know I hear someone to my right. That is a known fact now. Something we know to be true. That's um, something we hold on to in our lives. Is that there is indeed someone in this general direction. And that that flashlight is indeed facing over towards this right side and belongs to a player at this point. We know that as well. Oh, frick. I hate flashlights. I think they should all probably burn. Now what we're gonna do here is a little bit of repositioning. 
And that's due to the fact that there are many, many unknown variables here, and those all need to be accounted for, such as position and uh, potential dangers. And I don't think those are being accounted for in this current climate. What's this man up to? Seems a little more experienced. I'm still not worried about it. <laughs> I can't hear what he's saying, but he's talking. See if that'll bait him into coming out. It always does. Come on. Gotta wait a second till he calms down. Works every time. Now, was there two of them? That's a good question to ask. Don't want to have to shoot at this guy. I'm going to start inching over there and probably die at about the halfway point. I feel like that scav took that guy's stuff and ran with it. Strange, but also I'm okay with this. No idea where those shots were just coming from. This guy's playing me hard. <laughs> Is there two of them? Piss off. Idiot. Oh, baby large. Feels great. Am I a simp for letting her do, um, give me a facial? Aren't you supposed to do that? <laughs> so, you throw mine out of the gutter, bro. It's like, do you need one? I said, sure, why not? She's like, didn't your ex ever give you a face wash or a facial? And I'm like, no. Like, Maybe that's code for- oh.